What'd you say? I feel like I'm in a hot seat. I like you in the hot seat? Yeah. You are in the hot seat, bro. You hot. You hot right now, man. That's what I got. I want that hot day. right now. Yeah. You up next. Ain't I really be dripping juice? It's weird, man. Trying to be humble. But knowing you up next for real, though. Yeah, man. It's Nungfo. N U N G F O H. And uh, what is what is that? What is that? What does that stand for? I can't really tell people. It'll mess the business up for real. Okay, okay. Just know it's going to be an anime character, and the main character's name is going to be Nungfo, anime series. So if you think it's something bad, F-O-H, it's not. You did. Where, where, where? Okay, I it's respect just a, It's just an anime character. Okay. <laughs> you know, that's, 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 that's yeah. <laughs> we'll blur that out. No, I'm capping. We can keep it. Okay. Okay, where? Uh, so... So, um, are you, how old are you? 21. 21? You just old enough to drink? You just had a birthday? Yeah. When's your just birthday? Turned, uh, 20, June 20th. June 20th? Uh, yeah, my birthday was on Father's Day. Shout out to Elijah, my son. You know? Shout out to the king. Shout That's out to the young for. king. Shout out to the young king, man. Facts. He's going to be great, man. Like, I'm projected to go far, but he's... He's projected to do much more. It's crazy watching him grow, man. I never thought I'd be a father, especially not at this young. It's cool to see, like, your plans don't align with God's plan. So it's, it's cool to see how life ended 2021. I never saw this. But, hey, man, you roll with it. Everything happens for a reason. So you want to tell us about your lady? Is there any special lady in your life right now? Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Nigga, I done lost all trust for bitches. I never, I done lost all trust for bitches. That shit crazy. You be a good nigga, one bitch come and fuck you over, and it's like, fuck all bitches. See, and then I had, I guess I was looking, I looked at bitches a different way. My bad, let me not call them bitches. I looked at females a little different. I looked at them like, I don't know, I just looked at them different. It's a new generation, though. New wave of bitches, hot girl summer and shit. Can't really blame them for doing what they're doing. A hoe gonna be a hoe. That's what Wayne said. Er, shot to that. Take a shot to that, man. You gotta take a shot to that. You gotta take a shot to that. Or you gotta shout somebody out. One of the two. You gotta either take a shot or you gotta do a shout out to that. That was, that was, that was a homage drop right there. Homage drop. Nah, man, I'm cooler. You, uh, <clears throat> what's your favorite brand, bro? Favorite brand of clothing? You got one? Favorite brand of clothing? Yeah, man. Like, what's you, if you got to sport something to the party or, you know, you stepping out clean, stepping out fly with the guys. I'm a fan of Dior. Okay. It's, it's, it's a little, I'm a fan of Dior. I know. Dior? The first interview I did is with my bro Q show. It's really his interview, but I pulled up in Dior just because I felt like, what is it about Dior? Like, I like their quality. I got a Versace jacket in the crib. Have I pulled that up? Have I worn that? I might. Have, I know I've worn it, but I don't know if I took pictures in it on the ground. Yeah, you know that stuff is kind of expensive, bro. You can Excuse get me. you can get like you can get like less expensive stuff at a high quality and still be still be you know fresh. That's why I'm starting my brand. You starting your own brand? Yeah, Original Tees. I would have had a shirt on. Shout out to uh, Goat. Shout out to the Goat Hicks with Weird Illusion. Okay, what is what is that? What is it's some weird ass logo he got. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a, a big fan of the logo. It said Weird Illusion on the back. You know, I went to school with bro. He's a cool dude, so I'm a rep, you know. Okay. Just like I should have had my homeboy hat on. Uh, Tay from the East. Shout out my bro. Shout out Q Show with Show Money Brand. You dig? We all going up. There's enough money for all of us to eat. Right. And we all going to eat. All of us. Every last one of us. We right. all going to eat. Everyone who I know is going to eat. Is there Everyone any, I know is going to prosper. Is there anybody you feel like you need to watch your back for right now? Like, as far as your, as far as your clicks? You, you know, you can't bring everybody with you. You know, you kind of got to take them in groups of such and such at a time before you can let people... 
about that. With you. I don't really. I don't watch my back around none of my bros. But I'm not too close to none of them either. You know? I don't feel like none of them would snake me, but you know, it's Earth, planet Earth, they're humans. Anything can happen. You gotta watch your back. Some some dude, there was a cousin, it's two cousins. And then a friend. The friend was cool with a cousin. The cousin shot the friend. And then the cousin shot the cousin for shooting the friend. So So did every so everybody died. You gotta watch your back. I mean, you got you can't tell people to stay safe no more. You gotta tell them to stay dangerous. Ooh. Honestly. Ooh, stay dangerous. I like that. Are you would you consider yourself an entrepreneur? Of course. What is an entrepreneur? A self made boss. Someone who don't who don't I know entre- I know entrepreneurs who work on the clock, work nine to fives. I'm one of them. But you're working that nine to five so that you can gain the money so that you don't have to answer to no boss. You don't have to show up at nine o'clock and if you're five minutes late you get fired. You can't fire a boss. I learned that from Nick Cannon. Shout out to Nick. Word, okay. And what's this thing about being self made now? Like a lot of people say self made, self made, self made, self made, like what do you think is what do you think self made means? Like self made. It just means to me. To me it means self made to me means under any circumstance you're gonna win. So say I got this clothing brand. It's cool to get help. That's not what self made being self made doesn't mean you have to do it alone. So when you're saying self-made, this is my brand. But I know my bro do a brand too. So we're going to collab. I'm going to build his brand while building my brand. But at the end of the day, I got to push my brand. So because if I'm surrounding myself with the people who I want to or the people who I'm supposed to, he's going to be grinding his brand regardless. I'm going to be grinding my brand regardless. And no matter if either one of us make it to the top, I mean, shit, we all eat. If... See, and that's the thing. I promote my bro's music sometimes before I promote my own just because if he blows, we together. If my, my bro's clothing brand takes off, hey, bro, I'm I'm wearing your shit. We we right here. Let, let's all go to the top. You got it. If he got his clothing brand and they blow up and they see me wearing it, oh, man, that's nice, man. He, who is this dude who's wearing his shit? Oh, he got his own shit? Oh, man, let me, let me see what he on. Man, he got music. He got... He got YouTube. He got he got all of this. That's amazing. Right. It's not gonna take away from who brought them there. Mm, mm. So we all eat. All all the roots. You just, you just keep going further and further down. Yeah. Roots. So self made. It's just this. Self grinding. Build build yourself. So that when you're at the top, nobody can say, "Hey, I, I made you. I I'm the one who, I'm the one who." Who put you on? You might have gave me an opportunity, but I walked through that door. You might have opened the door, but I walked through it. Mm. And I appreciate you for that, but mm. you can't take that from me. I'm self-made. Mm. That was very well said, man. That's very, very well said, man. You, I think you, I think you got a lot to offer the the industry, bro. Like that's. Man, I'm the underdog in this shit, man. <laughs> I'm the underdog in this shit, man. This shit crazy, bro. I swear to God. Uh, let me not swear to God. I ain't supposed to do that. I said swear to God in Ben's coop, and to this day I regret it. Not because I just, you're not supposed to swear to God. I grew up in a church. My grandfather's a pastor. And swearing to God is just one thing you're not supposed to do. I was a little drunk. I made Ben's coop in 20 minutes, honestly. And it's one of my best songs. I was a little drunk, sipping on Red Berry. I said it in the song. But I try, I try to stay away from swearing to God. I really want to make my music without cussing. Will Smith said that his grandma went through his uh, lyric book and it was a whole bunch of curse words in it and swear words. And instead of her condemning him and, hey, you shouldn't be doing this. You, you uh-uh. She wrote in there, you're too educated to, to use this type of language. Do better. And that's what he did. With all his music, he doesn't cuss. So do you feel like you have to 
uh, make music without cussing or? No, I don't feel the pressure to, cause I still do. I just know when I make that song, when I'm a, when I get enough emotion and enough skill, when I get good enough to make a song that can do that, I'm gonna be proud of myself and know I can do it again. I thought I couldn't rap without smoking weed. Excuse me, my bad. I thought I couldn't rap without smoking weed until I made Hook None, another one of my best songs, without smoking weed. And then it showed me I don't, I don't need weed. Is there gonna be a hook too? Hook. Uh, I got no a hook. hook. I got a uh, no hook too. I gotta redo it a little bit. I'm very, I'm a, I'm a perfectionist. So I, I like, I'm a perfectionist. So the slightest imperfection in the song, it can be offbeat, it can be missing a hook, it could be missing a sound, just an ad lib, like I wouldn't want to drop it, so I wouldn't say it's ready. But I have it. It's the song's done. Is there anybody that you have to like who do you record with? Who like where do you go to to do your music? Like are you is there a, do you have a home studio? Is there like Somebody. I got a house studio. Shout out to Jaka. Shout out to Jaka Lasson. The Don, you dig? Man, he been really, really helping me out recently because I don't have nowhere to go. I got a producer right now. I can pull up my phone. Not a producer, engineer, whatever you want to call him. I'm like, hey, man, let me get in the studio. I'm talking about since July. It's what, August? August something? Since June. Hey, man, you open next week. You out of town? Where you at? What you want? I'm calling him. Want to be back. I mean, it is what it is. I'm going to get mine regardless. But honestly, that just showed me, get your own studio, nigga. Get your own shit. I got a mic. I got a computer. I don't really know the system. I mean, YouTube's for everybody, so I can learn. But I think that's just an obstacle I got to overcome. Is there anything you want to say? Or do you have any, like, so you said you have a computer. What kind of computer do you have? Just a little H. Some old-ass computer. Are you going to get a new computer soon? or? What's the interview for? I'm just doing it, just okay. cause. That's cool. Have content. Yeah. So yeah, uh, what uh, what kind of computer are you gonna get? Are you gonna go Apple or are you gonna go oh, Galaxy? Yeah. I'm gonna go MacBook just cause they already have what is it, GarageBand on it, so I can get in the game running. I don't gotta buy FL Studios. I don't gotta do nothing. And you're gonna be in school, right? Are you gonna are you are you going to college or I did you two say? years at the illustrious South Carolina State University. Uh, I was a business marketing major. I uh business marketing major. Um I made a promise to my dad that I would graduate college. And to this day, when I dropped out, it just don't sit well with me. I dropped out for reasons, for personal reasons, because I felt like it just wasn't my time. It, it wasn't my purpose to, to finish. If I finish and got my business marketing major, I'm at some desk job working, maybe a job, you know? I don't know if that's for me. I don't know if that's my calling. I didn't feel that. So I felt like I'm gonna go military, I'm gonna go Air Force. I uh, got some shit going on. I'm trying to get custody of my son. I'm in a little custody battle. That's neither here nor there. You said you're going to the Air Force. Why not uh, Army or Navy or Marines? What's so, like, why are you going? Uh, Air Force just suits me better. I mean, I could go out in the field, hold AR-15s and, you know, be in the field with grenades, but I don't want to mess this face up, you know? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I really don't want to go military because I had dreads. I want to keep them. I wanted to keep them, but, you know. You know, that's... You got waves now? No, I do not. Under this do-rag is a whole lot of bullshit and vampire fangs. If y'all know me, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. How many phones do you have, man? I only got two. You only got two? You say only, like, a lot of people have two phones. Nah, I, uh, I've been trying to get better at, uh, making music. So I have instrumentals playing on one phone, do voice memos on another phone. Sometimes I don't want to 
sometimes with, with certain songs, it's not the lyrics, it's the flow that I want to remember. So when I get the beat, I'll record the flow of the beat. And I can't, I can't put that in lyric form for, for a song. So okay. I'll use that to go back when I go to the studio. Hey, let me choose this beat. Damn, what, what did I say? It don't really matter. I got the flow. I switch it up. A little shit like that. Okay. Okay. But, I mean, it's all a journey. I'm trying to be... I'm trying to surpass Drake. What'd you say? I'm trying to surpass Drake. You're trying to surpass Drake? How you gonna surpass Drake? Hard work, dedication. Hard work and dedication. Anything else? God. Anything else? My support system. Anything else? I think that's about it. God and my support system. Them two backbones that that's propelling me to wherever I want to go. I got um I got a couple options. Take a couple take a while off, go military, work on my music. Don't go military, work on my music, go all in. Go school, play basketball, work on myself while still making music. It all it's all music. I know this is like the devil sign. I'm not with the Illuminati. Firm believer in, in Jesus Christ. But. So so you said you're a believer in God. Oh yeah, firm believer. So you know, if you're a believer in God, that means you read the Bible, right? Oh yeah. Favorite Bible verse. There's the most days in a month is thirty one. My grandma told me to read a proverb a day. It's not hard. Get up, we read, read a proverb a day. You can read one if it's July 26th, you go to Proverbs 26. So I try to do that, but my favorite, I say, I used to be, I used to have it memorized. Psalms 27, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He led me down and it's just something like that. You know. <laughs> I said that's my goal. If you know, you know. Yeah. I try to stay connected. I could be more connected. And I feel like maybe that's one of the things holding me back. I don't know. Do you ever doubt God exists? Like, no, never, never. It's too much, it's too much evidence. You walk outside, see a tree. Man, didn't make no tree. Walk outside, see the human brain. Like, Well, you don't see the human brain, but like you see trees. We still don't understand the human brain. Little stuff, the sun, how how perfect everything rotates and clockwise, counterclockwise, and just the way everything's in harmony. We, it's constant evidence of a of a higher power, and there's no, no one can deny that this man named Jesus was alive. So, somebody told me I went to Sunday school. They said, uh. They said, if you do two things, I want to say love yourself and love your neighbor. You pretty much do every other commandment that there is. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal. You'll do those if you love your neighbor. You wouldn't, you wouldn't kill. And it's not your physical neighbor. It's your neighbors on earth, people who you, who you live with. If you love your neighbor, you wouldn't, you wouldn't do someone do something wrong you would treat people the way you want to be treated but i mean i don't want to get too too into that shit like that okay okay do you uh do you think the world is uh round or flat uh this is a topic been flat. going on this is a topic flat bro flat flat bro flat as hell <laughs> <I'm bullshit. laughs> i ain't gonna lie though like I wanted to go into the Air Force and join the Space Force just to go out in space and see. We don't know what's out there. I mean, we didn't see pictures, we seen movies. But who's, I mean, I've been on a plane. I've been on multiple planes. I'm 
you know, born in Richmond, California. I got family in LA, Bay Area, San Francisco, Vallejo, Richmond. Like I, I've been on plane. So, you know, you see from a different perspective, the earth, but I mean, I would like to hop in a astronaut suit and feel like Elon Musk for a day and really see the earth as a whole from a different perspective, you know? That's just something I would want to do. Okay. I see why Elon Musk and, and Jeff Bezos out there, shit, if I had the money, I'd do it. Okay. I mean, when I get the money, I'll do it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, when you get the money, you'll do it. Yeah. Okay, how does time play a factor in uh in just everything that you have going on right now? Like, the clock is fucking ticking, man. The clock is ticking. Like I said, there's people doing this shit. There's people who got the views. There's people who got the money. I'm behind on all that. I gotta get the money, then get get to the bag I'm trying to get to. And on top of that, I'm not guaranteed just because I have money to surpass all these people. I mean, I feel like with my skill set, I can. No disrespect to anybody. I, but, I mean, you ain't everybody in South Carolina 10 bands right now. Who comes out on top? I feel like that's me. But here's the thing. Nobody's going to give you 10 bands. Some people got that 10 bands because they work for it. Some people so hard for it. Some people trap for it. Some people work the nine to five for it. I'm a nigga who who gotta work for it. I'm not a I'm not a street nigga. I'm not a nigga who trapped my face car clean. I had to go to court for some shit, but it got expunged, so we ain't gonna talk about it. Alright, alright. Do you believe in uh reincarnation? Like do you do you believe that people can be born again? I feel like we've had chances. I feel like the life I'm in right now, it's, you know, we don't know for certain, but I feel like I've been here before, God gave me chances. I got a, a mother and a father, a beautiful support system. I might've had another life where I didn't have that, did something wrong and then tried to go to heaven, and try to blame God, what if I only had a dad to show me, show me what's right or wrong, if I only, if I only, and then he said, all right, <laughs> you got everything you need now. What, what's the excuse? Why are you not where you want to be? So now I got to look at myself and say, why am I not where I want to be at? Why do I wake up every day in my mama's house? You know, it's little shit. I got to work. It's that simple. I'm not working hard enough. There's people who working hard, who worked hard, little baby, DJ Khaled, niggas who came up from the bottom and now they're where they want to be because they worked hard. I'm not where I want to be because I'm not working hard enough. I think it's that simple. The Ben's Coop out now on all platforms. Tap in before it's too late. Niggas talking about taxing for features and shit like I really care about features. I don't. Y'all niggas gonna come to me asking for features. And when y'all do, and I try to tax y'all, don't look at me funny. That's neither here nor there. Ben's coop out now. <laughs> Go tap into that. I really dropped hook none already, but I took it back because y'all not ready for that shit. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. No, I'm for real, bro. I went to a nigga. I really, I swear to... On my son, I don't care about no features, bro. I went to a nigga like, hey, man, how much you charge? Oh, man, that's... This shit too much, man. I can't even, I can't even fuck with you. All right, cool. That's cool. I really don't give a fuck. I really, <laughs> on my son, I could care less about this nigga feature. I mean, that nigga doing great. So a feature would be good, but like, I don't, I don't care. For real, for real. Cause like I said, like I got everything I need to be great. I'm the, I'm the underdog. I'm the nigga who, who they overlook. They looking at Charleston right now like, who's the next artist? I I know there's the niggas in Charleston. Niggas them blue in New York, Chicago, North Carolina with the baby, Stunner, Rich Dunk, Wisdom. He done put K Kilo on his thing with from New Orleans. Now they looking in South Carolina like, what the fuck they got going on in there? They see long money over there. Damn, that nigga doing good. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what he on. 
everybody sound. Let me not raise no haters, but everybody. Hold on, 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 hold on. Put your hater blockers on, man. Put some hater blockers on, bro. I'm only gonna put these on for this one spot, for this one part. Everybody in South Carolina sound the same. Every last one of y'all niggas sound the same. Go listen to Ben's Coop and tell me if it sound like any nigga in Charleston. If it sound like any nigga in South Carolina. If it sound like any nigga in the, in the low country. I gotta remember to stay humble, but I gotta remember that I'm that nigga sometimes. It's a, it's a fine balance between humble and hungry. But who would you say paved the way for you? Paved the way? Yeah. Oh, paved the way. Paved the way. Paved the way. Can you can you elaborate a little bit more on that question? Um. So top five top five artists or top five rappers. Let's start with there. Top five rappers. Just about top five? Top five. Who I like hearing. Who you like hearing. The Baby. Raw Wave. Q Show. Me. I like the Kid Lorio. Right, that's not his name. It's like the Kid Leroy. And Jakai, no cap. So long, he needs to drop a music video to that shit. He tweaking, he needs to drop a music video to that shit as soon as possible. YG and Q Show got three videos out right now, 100K plus views on YouTube. Go check that nigga out, subscribe. He close to a mil. Think he need like a hundred more. I said a mil, a thousand. Help him get to a thousand. But when you talk about paid away, I can't say no nigga paved the way for me. Because no nigga pushed me to get in the studio. There was a shout out to Q Show, because I was the first person I hopped in a song, hopped on a song with. Don't make love. That shit got like 500 views on SoundCloud. That ain't shit. Honestly, it's not. But it's a good song. Not really catered to the the people I hang around, but it's a good song. It's gonna blow, but paved the way. I can't say no nigga really paved the way for me. Influenced me to rap. I get that to my bro. Do you think you're a better artist now than you were? Like how long ago did you start rapping? When did you start, when did you say like, I'm gonna start doing music? Okay. I hopped in the studio with Q Show in December. First time I ever, ever hopped in a studio. I made Don't Make Love. It wasn't written, it was just a freestyle. And I was just cause I need to get get some shit off my chest. I said, the first the first thing I said to the mic was, why you leave, why you leave, bitch, you had me mad. Yeah, what was the last thing you said? Last thing I said was the last song I made. Don't even worry about it. I can't remember. I can't remember. They gotta go listen to it. Yeah. Go listen to Letter to My Son out now on SoundCloud. What uh what platforms are you on right now, man? What what platforms are you on right now? I'm everywhere. You type in Nungfo anywhere you listen to music, Ben's Coop will pop up. I'm telling you, it's a hit. Favorite platform to use? My favorite platform, Apple Music. I'm, I'm on Apple Music. Why Apple Music? Uh, no ads. Has all the music I need. Uh, quick to get to. Just really, uh, really helpful. I can't wait till I get a bus down. What kind okay. of bus down are you getting? Probably gonna bust down the AP and get like some vintage ass Roly, like some old ass Roly, some plain Jane Roly. I got a song with Jakai called Plain Jane. 
911, watch out for them playing Jane. But is would you say that's your favorite song or my favorite song personally is crazy. In order I'll probably go crazy, die on live. And then crazy, die on live. And I, I couldn't tell you after that. Everything else is just I got songs that get a lot of good responses, but like that sap shit, like I do it because it's relatable and because like my cousin said, you gotta strike while the while the wound's still there. Mm. It's still a fresh wound. I just kinda got over my BM. So it's like it's still there. I can tap into that. I wait a year from now and I'm really over this bitch. I can't I can't tap into that emotion where I'm damn a nigga hurt, rod wave type shit. I can't do that. I, it's not hard to do now, but I gotta go out my way to tap into that. I mean when I do it's there, so I mean it works, but it works. Do are you do you take any pills, bro? Are you are you on any drugs right now? You uh so you have two vape pens there, you smoke? No, I don't smoke no weed. Only cause um, I don't really need it right now. Challenge yourself, you know. I just challenged myself. I was smoking weed. Felt like I needed it. Thought, damn. What if, you know, I don't need weed? Let's see what happens when I don't smoke weed. Let's try to get healthier. So I did that, and now I'm, shit. Might as well stay clean. Same thing with porn, you know. You have that urge. Damn, it's three o'clock in the morning. I can't go to sleep. Bust one off. Yeah, let me. Uh, but that 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 split second where you do that and you lose your energy, you feel bad afterwards. Oh shit, man, let me get this shit off my fucking head, hey, hey, nigga. God damn. <laughs> you know, shit. Why do you feel that way? Cause you know you shouldn't have did it in the first place. So to avoid that feeling, you stop it. You cut it in the bud. When you feel that feeling, damn, damn, I won't go on Twitter. Let me go work out. Let me do some push-ups real quick. Let me go Let me go on YouTube and look at some, some chess videos real quick. I play chess. I'm learning how to play chess. My uncle's a grandmaster. Okay. Okay. What are some, uh, what are some, what are some, uh, some legends you would say, like, like, uh, like role models in your life? Role models in my life and legends? Yeah. I gotta get that one to my pop. He always held it down. Stand up guy, got us from a duplex in D Manor to a a neighborhood, rich white neighborhood in Kusa. Not Kusa, Westcott. We ain't in Kusa yet. Are you a junior? Yeah, I'm a junior. I'm a junior. He gave me his name, so I gotta live up to it. And then he got a Range Rover in a three bedroom house in a white neighborhood. He set the standard. I gotta up that. So now it's my job to. He got the. You got the Range Rover in the in the three bedroom. Shit, let me get the Benz Coupe in the Lambo Ventadors, you know. Okay. The Urus. Let me get a mansion. Let me buy my mama Audi. And make sure my brother don't gotta go to the military. I'd be killed if he went to the military, did some dumb shit and fucked up. And I wouldn't be the person to be there to be like, man, you good, you don't even gotta do that. I'm trying to be the nigga in my family where when they looking at people, damn, so-and-so just passed. I don't know how we're going to pay for a funeral. Don't worry about it. I got it. That's what I'm trying to be. Are you afraid to die? No. I can't be. I'm, I mean, I believe in God. If it's my time, it's my time. Afraid to die? Hell no. Nah. I mean, I don't want to. I feel like there's still things I could teach my son. So if I get put in that situation, I'm going to act accordingly. I don't want to die. So in every situation, in every room I go in, which is weird, I go into that room, damn, if everything went to shit right now, how would I get out? How to fuck with, how would I, how would I move? That little pen right there, I could use that shit. Uh, uh. That guy over there looked like he might pop off of some wild shit. Uh. And that nigga right there look racist. He might try to sneak me real quick on some dumb shit just to get off on a, on a nigga. I keep my eye open for all that shit. But at the same time, I think 
Marines do that shit. It's like white, yellow, and red states of awareness. You never want to be caught in white. That's just like you walk in, some nigga hit you in the back of your head. You don't got no awareness on that. Yellow, you always aware. Not paranoid, but you always aware. Like, what's going on? Red. Oh, no, some shit popping off. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. But, you know. I try not to... You, you prepare for the worst, but, you know. You ready for whatever. Wow. So what kind of car do you drive right now? Shit. Can you tell the people what kind of, what kind of uh, car you uh, drive around in? The car I drive... Is a Honda CRV 2007, which just broke down on the side of the road on I-26 because I forgot to put oil in it. The engine locked up on me, and that car is no good. It's pretty much spare metal. So now I'm driving my grandma car, maximum 2007 V6 engine. It's all right. Changing the oil in this one, though. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to make sure her car's straight just because I fucked up. Keep gas in her car. Keep it washed. Keep it clean do what I gotta do but by the end of this year I was thinking about getting a car but shit, I gotta like I said my support system so strong shit I'm I'm putting money in the other stuff I just bought some shirts I'm about to put them shit on sale making some shirts for the ladies with butterflies on them hopefully y'all love it hopefully it sell out my last shirt my last set of shirts sold out you can grab my shirts original tees at the mall and game over sports Northwoods mall their black polo tees go to uh Mr. Chris and ask him for Nung Fo's original tees. Every shirt I make is original. If you got one, it's never gonna be another shirt like that shirt. That's what people like. They like exclusive. They like shit that they walk into a club and niggas ain't got on. That's why niggas dig so deep in their bag when they looking for, for some drip. Damn, what the fuck am I gonna wear? That's why I wear my Dior. That's why I wear the red bottom. Damn, if I know I go DT, niggas ain't pulling out knees. I'm going to stand up. That's what I try to do. You didn't wear the Dior today, though. No, no. I'm in the, I'm in the New Orleans. I'm in the uh, Converse gear today. I'm in the Converse gear today. Okay. You don't got the Converse. Are those the, uh, the NBA? Uh, NBA what? Yeah. What number do you have? 23. 23 out of 2,250. Okay. Okay. These hoes clean as hell. Okay. Okay. Oh. When do you plan to start school again? Thinking about enrolling in Trident just to play in this Juco team, Juco League. So you're a hooper? Yeah, I hoop a little bit. Could you hoop in Converse? I can hoop in anything. I hoop in church shoes. Niggas know me for that. <laughs> I just beat my... Uh, in church shoes? Telling you, I used to hoop in Sperry's. Like, religiously, like, like for real. Wearing Nike, wearing Nike socks to church just cause, just in case they, they bring the court out. Shit, I might take the pants off, have shorts up on them. Had to dig in a bag and go hoop. Now I love hooping though. I don't know if that's my path. I don't know what's my path right now. I'm on a little self, a little journey right now, trying to find out what it is. I know I love the music. I know I love hooping. It's hard to do both. Not many can do it. Dame Dollar does it. Iman Shumper does it. These are six, three established players in the league, though. I'm a 5'10 nigga trying to find his way. What time is it? I got no Apple Watch on. Uh, time is currently. Uh, I got my other phone behind you. Now, like. Oh. Okay. 11:47 p.m. Uh, Tuesday, August 10th, 2021. 2021, baby, we here. Passed the baton. Oh, what would you, what do you, what do you think about the Olympics this year, man? Well, tell us, tell us about it. Proud of uh, the Hoopers won gold. Shout out KD for dropping 29. They won gold? Mm-hmm. The Hoopers won gold. I want to say USA had the most medals and the most gold medals in the Olympics. In 2020? In 2020. No. Yeah, I'm proud to be an American, man. Somebody said, like, the last good place on earth, like, 
We let this shit crash and burn. Who knows where this shit going? I think that's why so many people was uh, involved in the presidential debate. I think that's why tempers are so high with the with Donald Trump and Biden and Democrats and Republicans. I feel like people are just at a really tense time in life. Who won the presidential election? Biden. He beat uh. What the fuck? He beat Kamala Harris, Andrew Yang, a couple other. The losers. You don't remember the losers. You remember who won. <laughs> Which I'm not gonna lie, President Biden has. I don't seen some clips on Biden, and he kind of. I mean, I don't. I don't have enough money to care about what the president's doing. Like what the presidents do doesn't affect me right now, unless that nigga just starts a war, and I get drafted. But I don't have enough money to really care about what they're doing. I got my own shit going on. Okay. So martial arts has been introduced into the Olympics. Do you do any type of martial arts or? No, I want to box though. Okay. I know I said something about protecting my face earlier, but I feel like that's why I'd be good at boxing. Cause I ain't trying to get here. I got a nice reflex. Any nigga who want to box, you can go to Walmart and buy boxing gloves. You can get that shit popping. All it takes is a DM. We'll get that shit popping on YouTube. For real, any nigga, any nigga. I'm calling out you watching this shit right now. The nigga who watching this shit saying, I know this nigga ain't talking about me. I'll whoop that nigga ass. You. I'm, I'm talking about you. We can box. Oh, man. Oh, man. So it's over with. It's over with, Farm. Oh, yeah. Give me, give me, give me, a, give me a month to train. DM me. Now, some niggas I'll whoop their ass. We can set this shit up tomorrow. We can, <laughs> we can go. If, I, if you DM me saying you're trying to box, and I said, give me a month. Just know I need a month. Shit. I ain't losing to no nigga, man. Let's Shout see. out Richmond, California, man. Pachester Village, man. You don't use the megaphone? Take a shot to it? Yeah, man. You know the vibes, man. Shout out PK, man. You know the vibes. See, and that's the thing, man. Like, I think niggas think I'm competing with Charleston niggas. I'm, I'm really not. I got family on the West Coast promoting my music right now. Yeah, I mean, shit. The numbers might not say it, but one person hear it, and I'm and I'm gone. And I, shit, I know niggas. Every nigga who probably who rapping probably feel that way. I know that for a fact. Niggas are gonna hear my music and be like, "Why the fuck this nigga ain't signed?" Niggas, he not. He got a clothing brand. He got he got good music. He has a great personality. Marketable. No tattoos. Great family, man. Man, somebody get this nigga a meal on the contract, man. No advance. That's for him to keep, nigga. We need that nigga. And that's what I'm going to do. Are you in the process of signing with someone right now? I can't even talk about that. I ain't going to lie. A label, my pops, my pops just talked to a nigga just like literally, what was this, yesterday? Two days ago? I bought a label. A label is actually about to come to me. Like, this shit is coming. I'm trying to tell niggas like, and I'm putting every nigga on. I'm not even going to hold my nuts on niggas. Like, like I know niggas who, if they blew it right now, they would hold their nuts. Like, nigga, what? Like, nah, nigga, I'm, I'm up. Nigga, I'm not. I need 10 bands for a feature now. Like, I'm trying to get it in with niggas now. So when I blow, hey, I got a song with this nigga. Maybe I can blow too. Certain niggas gonna come up with me regardless. But I can't, I can't bring everybody why ten bands is is why not fifty bands? If you're gonna if you're gonna be like a millionaire, you could charge like yeah, you I could charge you, you could charge however much you want for. If I gotta for charge the a nigga for a feature. I don't want to do a feature with him. That's why I'm trying to get niggas now. I I pay a nigga for a feature now just cause off the strength of I know what I'm gonna be, so I'm helping you. I'll pay you to help you because I know where I'm gonna be. Like I'll pay niggas. To get on a song with me. To say, hey, bro, you don't see it, but I do. Nigga's not there. Did somebody do that for you? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Nigga, nah. man, I'm telling you, I just started rapping December 2020. That was the first time I ever, I was a feature on a song. I think 20. 
January 2021 was when I made my first song. She was whack. And I was in a I was in a kind of dark place. I wasn't talking to my family. I was going through a lot of stuff. And I let them hear my music. And they were thankful. They were, man, like, we wanted to know what's going on with you. You get into the mic. I'm so glad that you are talking. I'm glad that you actually expressing yourself. And instead of being like, man, you cussing a lot in your music, you, they were supportive. Hey, man, you got something. I, I hear it. Well, you gotta, I hear it. And I'm looking like, man, this shit whack. Like, I know this shit whack. Like, I don't even play that song no more. Like, that shit, I probably deleted the song. Like, oh, no, that was a gem. Yeah. That was a gem right it's there. It's probably not deleted. It's somewhere in the files deep down there, but like, Like, just that little edge of my family saying, like, hey, if you're going to do it, if you're going to do anything, go hard. Little baby said, my mama always told me not to get no no poor performer. You can't. Whether I'm hooping, if I'm going out there hooping for, the, for a Juco team or a D1 team, nigga, give it your all. Don't go out there and half-ass. What the fuck you out there half-assing for? Why you out there? You got 10 points, five assists. Nigga, you barely tried. Nigga, nigga, go who? Nigga, you, you made a song where you went half-assed. You kind of went to digging your feelings back, but you didn't. Why do that? Nigga, go all in. Make the hit that you know you can make. And that little edge of, that little push of, nigga, you know you can be great. And me knowing, I know I can be great. It's what, it's what fuels me. I got a song written right now called Pain that I'm waiting to write. And I'm waiting to get in the booth and say, because I feel like every every next song is gonna be that song. Every song I do, I'm gonna perform, and I got to, because if not, what am I doing this shit for? Am I just making music to to hear myself on a mic? I can make voice memos and and do that, but I'm not. I'm doing this shit because because I want to get that that beach house. I want to get that them 50 acres where no, I got no neighbors. I can build a mansion for my mom, my grandma, my dad, and my little brother. Build it from the ground up. Everybody got Ben's Coop. Everybody got Lambos. Matt Black, white, what you want? You got it. Ma, you wanna go shopping? Here's a first class flight to Paris. PJ, you good. Matter of fact, go get a massage on the PJ. I'll fly a, a personal masseuse on a PJ so you can go to France and go buy your Louis V. That's the type of shit I'm on. And and no disrespect to my family, no disrespect to anybody, but nobody nobody's thinking like that. Some people thinking, shit, I got a good job, I got a house, I got a car that I pay for, I ain't struggling on no bills. I'm good. My nigga, I could I could have I could have a, a three bedroom house in a gated community with a nice scat pack charger and I would feel unsatisfied. I would truly feel unsatisfied that I know I didn't go as hard as I could. I need private jets, I need yachts. I told a nigga that and he was like, you know how much it take to, for a yacht? You got like a million dollars to park it. It's like, like two million to buy a yacht. Like, okay, a million ain't shit no more. Which is another reason why I wake up angry I wake up angry. Why the fuck am I still here? Why the fuck am I still at my mama's house? Why the fuck am I not on these private jets that I'm talking about? I'm seeing niggas do it. I went to LA looking at Rolls Royces, being able to touch them. Like this is a Rolls Royce. This is this is the shit that I've been dreaming about. I gotta go get it. And the only person who's gonna get it is me. My right. dad not gonna get it for me. My mama not gonna get it for me. Elijah not gonna get it for me. Okay. I like being on camera. I ain't gonna lie. I wanna be a movie star too. Oh like, yeah. I, like I know, like, like once I get the bag, like, I'm shooting movies. I'm putting niggas on. I'm putting myself in the right positions to, to get the bag. I'm getting endorsements, like. All of that shit, that shit coming. I ain't, I watched Lil Yachty on a vlog, sit inside a studio for like 12 hours and come up with bullshit. 
And I, I thought to myself, I, I think he made like seven songs. Let me not call it bullshit. I watched him go in the studio and make like seven songs. My name, you put me in a, in a pro booth where I don't gotta worry about pay. I don't gotta worry about time. Just make music. These are curated beats for you. You, we gonna make these beats from scratch. I'm not going on YouTube looking for beats. We gonna, these are brand new professional beats. Ain't no way I can lose. But I, like, like at the same time though, but it, it, every it, nigga it, feels like that. It takes a long time to finish a song. I've been getting better. Cause like I said, like, like one thing, I've been going to studios you got an hour you paying for for two hours 75 dollars for two hours pretty much all right shit it used to take me I, I couldn't even finish a song in two hours then i was like damn i know niggas who's one taking songs and making hits three three four minutes so do you, you write your songs i start to write just because i know time wise it, it helps okay when when i only got two hours in the studio i can't i can't bullshit. i'm not a freestyle rapper I mean, I I can, but it's not gonna be on no. Oh, this nigga just said the most fire shit. He, that was heat. I I usually shit will pop up in my head. I said one bar on the song "Painful." It's on my uh on my mixtape, "Growing Pains." It's a song called "Painful," beat by D Major. Man, that shit. The last the last verse I said the last. I said, no heat in the pool, but no weight in the water. Mm. Get, yeah, it took mm. me <laughs> it took me mm. a while to like come up with that shit. Like, but like that was like the punchline of the shit. Now I'm coming up with shit like, oh, that's a good thing. Now let me try to do that throughout the whole song. I can't freestyle that. I'm not I'm not that guy. I mean, you give me a nice beat of freestyle, I'll 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 float it that bit. But you're not probably getting little baby Drake type bars in these shit. Y'all might sneak one or two in there. I mean, I ain't shitty, but I mean it is what it is. I've learned that. And little baby writing his next album, he said he writing that bitch start to finish. Nigga, if he teeing up, that should be a sign to every rapper. Get on y'all shit. That's the nigga at the top of the game. He got the game in a motherfucking. In a mug. I'm talking about a tight choco, like a nigga you is not breathing unless I want you to type choco. And then this nigga just said he finna write and take it more serious. I see what he on. I gotta get on it. Cause I feel like the shit that I got is mediocre. I'm trying to build an album. I got maybe what four, five songs. Four, five songs. That's good to go. Yeah. The album ain't four, five songs. I mean, I got more than four or five songs, but I want every song. I want to be able to walk up to a nigga. Hey, bro, I bought my album. You got Apple Music? Yeah. Hey, what song you want me to listen to? Shuffle that bitch, nigga. Any song. Lasan well, said, fuck Apple Music. Yeah. Most of my shit on, on SoundCloud. I really need a music video for Ben's Coop because I, I notice a lot of people, if they don't got shit, they got YouTube. If they don't got shit, the niggas got YouTube. So I know I need a music video. I working with this one dude at work, playing my music. The boss and the boy listening to my music and shit. That shit crazy. Two white people, old white couple, boy listening to my music. White dude come up to me. Like, hey man, that, that Ben's cool man. I've been listening to all that for this like on repeat, man. I'm like damn for real. I'm like yeah man, that shit sometimes get me in my feelings. I'm like damn, all right. I'm like man, shoot a video for that shit. I'm like man, I I feel you, bro. I want a video for that shit, but like I said earlier, I'm a perfectionist, so like, I want every scene. I want to direct my shit. I want every scene to be good. I want every edit to be a meaningful edit. I want it to be a smooth transition. I want, I want it to be perfect. I want it to see the, cause I can see it in my mind. I just gotta get it there. And Joey Lens costs what six hundred for the cheapest shit he got. One location, you get like an hour with Joey. A band for like a whole story mode, a story type shit. But that's neither here nor there. I, I gotta get on my shit. But I say all of that to say, niggas better watch out because I'm getting on my shit, bro. <laughs> I'm getting on my shit, bro. I'm telling you, most niggas who got a clothing brand not in the mall, nigga. That's 
I started making clothes a month ago. My clothes are in the mall. You can go. If a nigga came up to me and said, damn, I like your shirt. Where you get it from? I can get one. You got my size? Go to Northwoods Mall and, and go buy one. Niggas can't say that. That is true. That and is I true. just started this shit with the music shit. Nigga came up. He's like, damn, boy, where you get your shit? Mix and master. I never had a song mix and master. Like, damn. And that's not this. That's not to be cocky. That's on some shit like. You gonna deliver? You gonna deliver? I want. I heard Gucci Man didn't do that shit either. He never got his shit mixed and mastered. But I, there's no reason to. If you if you deliver on a song the way you want to. That shit done. Let me hear it. That shit good to go. Ben's cool. Just off the audience alone and the response I was getting told me it's good to go. I didn't like that song. I'm not a fan of Ben School. Heartbreak Anniversary, I performed that song. People loved it. I got like a standing ovation. I don't I don't like that song like that. I mean it is what it is. You you can't ignore the fans. You can't ignore people who are telling you to your face, I like this song. This is a good song. You can't ignore that. Yeah. Because your ear might be different than the next man, the next woman. Okay. You said you're right. Okay. Do you have a pen and pad on you right now? Do you, you I keep do it? not. I do not have a pen and pad on me. I might have to get one from Jakai. I okay. might have to grab one. You can, I mean, you can have one, bro. There's plenty in here. It's some, uh, it's some in the box. It's some in the box somewhere in here. I'll grab one after. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Whichever one you want, bro. Yeah, but uh, I, try to, I try to write in my phone. Something jotted in my head. Oh. Uh. Boom. Apple watch my car got no windows like a Ben school. I don't something. Okay, um but yeah, so make sure you're writing all the time, right? Um do you have good handwriting? Is your I like my handwriting. I I like my handwriting. Some people say it's it's weird. It's like a mix of cursive and normal writing. I only like to write in pens. I can't write in pencil. And I like G2 Pilot, you know, the, the, the gel pens, only like those. When I took, no, I took good ass notes, color coordinated notes, a little line to separate the different chapters. Like, I, excuse me, I was on my shit. Okay. Yeah, I, I like my handwriting. Okay. Um, and last question, last question. What do you think now today about uh all these people that are coming out as you know homosexual and the transgender movement with you know people transitioning from male to woman woman to man and just men sleeping with men women sleeping with women and getting married and uh, taking a rainbow it used to be a part of gold now it's a flag and like it's it's so many things that's going on with that can you like what can, what do you what do you want what do you want to say about that um, now, this is my humble human opinion. There's only two genders. I am a human. I am a man. I can't tell the next man what to do. Nor do I care what the next man does. In the relationship with all of this, the cancel culture and what they did to the baby, this is all still new. The baby said... STD, if you don't got an HIV, you ain't dying next week. Pussy clean, put the light in the air. If you ain't sucking nigga dick in the parking lot, boom, boom, boom. He's getting canceled for that. My stance on that is, I think they're a little too sensitive. I understand where they're coming from. It's offensive. I wouldn't, I would watch what I say, because that's a, a powerful community that can cancel a motherfucker. But, like... Who is it? Who are the people that are canceling? Like, who... who, who? This weird cancel culture? I don't... Who I controls don't... the remotes? Oh, 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 oh. So... Okay, 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 okay. I think they're pushing okay. an agenda. Okay. I think... Once again, I could care less. I don't care. I don't care. 
I could care less. Matter of fact, I couldn't care less because I don't care at all. Well said. So do what you want to do. But as for me and my family, we, we don't rock like that. If my son was to come to me at the correct age and say, Dad, I feel this way. Okay, son, let's talk about why you feel this way, where these feelings originated from. And as a father, I got to ask myself, who influenced this thought? Or was this a, a thought from my son that just came from him? You know, when you got Lil Nas X, Lil Nas X dancing in a jail cell with naked men, and he's one of the most known, he's on Fortnite, He's on every YouTube platform. He's on every platform. He's in front of the TV. He's everywhere. So if I'm allowing my son to sit in front of this and look at this like, 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 that's who he wants to be like, is that is that my fault or is that just part of? Well, I mean, if but if you're comfortable with who you are and your sexuality, why does that? Yeah. Why but, does that bother you? Like, why does it see, matter? Because as a as a kid, you're very impressionable. I, I can't speak for anyone else, but I saw my dad married to my mom for 20 years. I never, you know, that, that's who I looked up to. That's who I saw. This is, this is the right way. This is, this is what to do. He's a good father. He's a, 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 probably an even better husband, a great son, a great brother. And I'm watching him be a, an awesome man and following in his footsteps. If I was homosexual gay I don't if I was gay and my son was watching me okay that's that's normal that's that's what I'm that's who I'm looking up to so you you just watch as kids are young because they're very impressionable do you think they should make that choice themselves um yeah I, you can't make a choice for any other person that's that's all him but at the same time with the D Wade Zaire Wade thing I feel like this is just me and my humble human opinion. She's a little too young to make that decision. And she's a she now. She, she is a she. Yeah. Zaire Wade, she or Zia Wade, she she changed oh. genders at like the age of twelve or something like that. I wanna say even younger than that. Oh. But I wanna say she came to him and said that she was gay and like whatever. That's not my family. It doesn't matter. But like D Wade said he had to prepare for those conversations as a man, as a, as a dad, as a father, because who is he to say you're, you're gay? You're, I don't, I don't love you. What type of human being are you to say that? So it's my job to love my son and, and, you know, push him in the right direction. But as a Christian human male, I'm going to put him in the direction that I feel is right. Shot to that. Shot to that. Or shout out to that. Shout out to that. Any anybody want? Okay. Shout out to them fathers, man, who doing what they supposed to do. So you said. Shout out to the the stepfathers that stepped up. Shout out to the the black fathers who who doing what they supposed to do and not getting no recognition for it. Where hold it down. Um. Any more? Any more questions? Yeah, one last thing. So you said you uh, you said you're a Christian. You believe in God. Do you believe in anything else or any other higher powers that be? No. I believe that Jesus Christ died on the on the cross. I believe that there's a God, and Jesus is God's son. And it's it's. You can't take experiences from people. If I was about to get in a car accident, boom, I get in a car accident, and I didn't even have no seatbelt on. I'm going like 60, probably 40 miles per hour, whatever, and I survive. And I said, dang. Well, the only thing that that stopped me from dying was was God. No dude can come up to me and say, hey man, God ain't real, nigga. Like, nigga, there's proof right here. You can read all every last one of these books and it'll prove to you that God ain't real. You can't, you can't do that because it's it's here now. It's an experience. I've experienced Jesus. So you can't, you can't look at me and say, 
God is here. You can't, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. Well said. We don't have any more questions for you. Uh, what is your name again? N-U-N-G. Okay. 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 All right, sir. And that's um. <laughs> And that wraps it up. That wraps it up. That wraps it up. That wraps it up. I just uh, Cali, man. Try to leave me to get that green baby. I'm glorified.